Hey I hope you're having a great day so far. My name is Palina and today's video is a little makeup haul on some new makeup products I got. I have some K-Beauty products, a new Colourpop palette I'd like to show you guys. So if you're interested, please continue watching. And also if you're interested about this makeup look, I just did a Euphoria makeup look and filmed it. So I'll link it here if it's already posted. The first product we have here is a Too Cool For School Art Class by Roden Contour Powder. I bought a little contour powder and brush kit, so there's a product inside and a little brush. When I saw the brand name Too Cool For School for the first time, I thought it's cute and funny and different. And this contour powder is very popular, I saw it a lot online, so I finally got to try it out. The product looks like this outside with a paper sticker on it that says Art Class by Roden. And inside there's three different colors of contour powder from light, medium and dark. I can use this for various different functions like nose contour, shading and bronzing. And there's a warm toned one and a cool toned one. This one I bought is a warm tone one because I have warm tone skin, it will suit me better. I only tried it once until now and blends very smoothly on my face. I like it so far and I'm excited to use this in the future. I only have two bronzers, Hula Bronzer and Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I hit pan already on both of them. So I got a brand new bronzer. And this is a little brush that comes with it. It's a little angled contour brush and super small. It's the size of my palm. It feels very soft, the bristles are synthetic and I like to use it with a contour powder. Moving on, I bought two Korean lip tints. These are the Juicy Lasting Tint from the brand Roman. It's a very popular product in Korea and I have tried another formula from this brand before. I tried the Glasting Water Tint and I really liked it. So this time I get to try two of the Juicy Lasting Tints. I bought it in the color 13 E Dottori which is like a orange brown color and I searched up what dotori means apparently it's a Korean dish I'm not sure if it's a dessert or cold dish it says it's acorn cake and on some pictures it looks like it's a sweet dish on some pictures it looks like it's a salty dish so I have no idea but it looks very interesting and the other color I bought is called Berry Shot. This one is a berry red color and it looks super beautiful on pictures I tried it out once so let's try both colors out on camera this is what the lip tints look like. The packaging is cute, it's sturdy, hard plastic, and I'm going to swatch them. I removed my lipstick, so let's try out this color called Berry Shot. I tried it once before out at night, and I had warm light in my room on, so I can't tell how the color really looks. This time, let's try it at daytime. It has a very, it has a sweet berry scent, almost like strawberry jam. It smells very comfortable, not too strong, and I really like it. It goes onto the lips super easily. It glides onto my lips. It's a very beautiful berry red color. So this is a color. It settles on my lips super fast. Right as I apply on it, it already adheres to my lips and it's already drying down. Let's apply a little bit more on the center of the lips. And this is what the color Berry Shot looks like. It looks just like the red color of a strawberry. It has some warm tones to it. It's perfect for the spring and summertime. I will enjoy this lip color a lot. It feels very comfortable on the lips. Feels like I applied Vaseline onto my lips. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It sits on my lips very well. Adheres to my lips very well. It's very comfortable. I really like the formula. Now let's take this off and try out the color Eat the Tori. This is Eat the Tori. I never opened it before, so let's open for the first time. It smells the same, I think. Oh, I see. It's a very different color. This one has an orange brown color. The color goes onto the lips super easily, doesn't stuck in one place or doesn't move or anything like that. It looks very pretty. So this is what the color E. Dottori looks like. It's very pretty, I really like the color and the formula. It's like an orange red color with hints of brown in it, just like the MAC Chili lipstick. It's very similar and I really like it. The color suits my warm skin tone very well. I can wear this with any daily neutral makeup look. And also the formula is super nice. It glides onto the lips super easily, doesn't stuck in one place or doesn't look like it's hard to blend out or anything. The color goes on smoothly and very evenly across your lips. It's moisturizing, it doesn't dry your lips out. It also doesn't feel sticky like lip glosses or anything. 
it doesn't stick to my lips at all it feels like i'm wearing vaseline or thick lip balm so i really like the formula i really like the color of both of these i'm actually intrigued to buy more colors of these but i'm not supposed to buy any more lipsticks i'm excited to try more colors from the juicy lip tint but i really don't need more lipsticks and next up we have a japanese eyeliner this is from the brand kiss me you've seen me using kiss me eyeliners in all of my videos where i use brown or black eyeliners a friend recommended this eyeliner to me and i've been using it ever since i really like the pigmentation the longevity of the eyeliner also feels very nice to apply this is their new packaging i'm not sure if it's a new packaging or a new formula i will try this out once i'm done with my other eyeliners if you are Asian and you are looking for a drugstore eyeliner, the Kiss Me Heroin Make eyeliner is really good. Next up, I got a very exciting new product. This is a Fade Into Hue palette from Colourpop. It's one of their mega palettes, there's 30 colors in it. The packaging is super pretty and oh look, it matches my nails. I did some pink purple nails and matches the palette. It's a rainbow palette, there's 30 colors in it, all the way from red to purple. Well, not exactly red, the reddest colors in here is just dark pink. So I don't really get any red colors here. This one is actually dark pink. You have it all the way from dark pink to orange to yellow to green to blue and to purple. I wanted to get this palette because I can do very colorful, bright looks with it that I don't have. I wanted this palette because it has so I wanted to show you guys the eyeshadow palette and the color, the shimmery green color here called Pose, fell out and I dyed inside. I've had incidents before where I dropped my eyeshadow palette and the color fell out and I have to smoosh it back but this time I didn't even drop the palette, I didn't do anything to it, I just left it up and the color fell out. You can see I performed surgery on it. So as I was saying, I wanted this palette because it is such a big variety of colors. There are so many juicy, vibrant, bright colors that I get to try and play with that I don't have in my collection. I can explore my creativity with this palette and try out many different looks that I couldn't before so I'm very excited to play with it. I will do more looks with it, try it out and then do a review on it. But so far I think it was a good decision to buy this palette because I thought of so many makeup looks I want to try now and I will film videos with it in the future. So that was all for the makeup part. Other than that, I bought four lip balms from Nivea. This is a Nivea Original Care lip balm. I really like the formula of this lip balm. It feels thick, moisturizing, lasts a long time on your lips. I like to wear lip balm a lot. My lips get dry easily. I wear them when my lips feel dry. I wear them before I put on makeup and then by the time I'm going to do my lip makeup, I'll just wipe off the lip balm and then I apply the lip color on it and my lips would feel very nice, not dry, not cracky or anything. I really like the formula of this lip balm and they had a discount of buy one get one so I bought a two pack and got a two pack for free. It was a nice deal. And that's it for this video. These are all the new makeup products I got. I'm very happy with them. I'm very excited to use this product in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see me using these products in the future in my videos, please subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. I hope you have a great day and take care of yourself. I will see you in my next one. Bye!